Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 76 says, the owner of a small restaurant earned a profit of $300 during the first month of operation. According to the business model for the next 12 months, it is projected that the profit for each month after the first will be $50 more than the profit for the preceding month. If P of M represents the profit for each month, which we're gonna use M uh, to denote the months, and M equals one represents the first month, which of the following functions best describes the business model? So there's a couple of key pieces of information here. First of all, it says that uh, their profit is gonna be $50 more than the profit for the preceding month. So we're gonna have a constant rate of change here of $50, and that indicates that we'll be able to write our equation in the classic y equals mx plus b form because we're going to have a linear function. Um, and what tells me that again is the fact that we have a constant rate of change. So our equation is going to take this form and just as a quick reminder the m in this equation is going to uh, represent the slope or the rate of change. The b in this equation is going to represent the y-intercept. Uh, the y-intercept. Um, another way of, con of thinking about the y-intercept is it's the value of the function when x is zero. Okay. So yeah, so we've got the slope or the rate of change, which is the m value. We've got the y-intercept or the value that the, that the function takes on when x is zero. All right, so let's go back and just kind of look at our numbers again. $50 more than the profit for the preceding month. That's gonna be our m value. So m is gonna equal 50. If p of m represents the profit for each month and m equals one represents the first month. Okay, so it says on the first month, they made $300 during the first month of operation. Now we have to be careful here because if the y-intercept is the value when x, or in this case, m equals zero, this should be the profit on the zeroth month. Now, I know it doesn't really make sense in context for you to have profit before you start operating the business uh, in the zeroth month. Um, but in terms of trying to create this function, and maybe I can explain this better with a little picture here, uh, the y-intercept is not gonna be 300. It's actually going to be $50 less than $300. So if we think about this, so I'm just going to make two little marks here. Month one, month two, and then in the first month, what was it, $300? Uh, let's just go ahead and type that in there. And in the second month would be $50 more than that, so that would be $350. And every month thereafter is going to be $50 extra, dollars, right? So we've got... The first month is going to be $300, the second month is going to be $350, and so forth. So the y-intercept, which is where the graph is going to cross the y-axis, or where, uh, or the value of the function when x is zero, needs to be, even though it doesn't really make sense in context here, it does need to be 250 in order for us to generate this line. Okay. So yeah, 250 is going to be our y-intercept here, if you can read that. <laughs> I know I certainly cannot. Uh, yeah, I should have just typed it, right? Okay, well anyway, um, so yeah, our b is going to be 250, and now we can write our equation. So for just writing it, like in this format, this y equals mx plus b, it'd be y equals 50x plus 250. Um, but we're going to go back and use function notation and use the variables that they are uh, requesting here, which is P and M. So here we've got P of M. That's not P times M. That's just the function notation for P in terms of M. Should equal 50 times the number of months plus 250. So our answer here, uh, we can find, right, uh, let's see, it's going to be C. So that's it for number 76. Thanks for watching and y'all have a great day.